In this video, you will continue your interactive story by adding choices to the slot you created in the last video and linking those choices to new or existing slots. By now, your group has created and linked multiple slots. Look at the storylines your other group members created. Now, add two choices to the slide you created in the last video. You can link each choice to a new slide or to a slide that a group member created. In this example, Nia could link her choices to the drive and canoe slides, or she could create two new slides. Test your changes often in presentation mode. If one of the links goes to the wrong slide, that's okay. Change it so that it directs to the correct slide. If you get stuck at any point, ask a group member or a classmate for help. When the story is finished, many slides will link to each other, giving the reader lots of paths to take. Continue to add choices and slides to build out your story. Each group member needs to add at least three slides. Make sure each slide contains two choices and that each choice links to another slide. Check out how this might work. Nia sees that Antonio created a slide where the main character takes photographs. On Nia's slide, the main character sees an anaconda. You could also take pictures of an anaconda. Nia makes a text box and links that choice to Antonio's slide. She also makes another option to run away. She links the option to run away to a new slide and continues the story. Nia tests the story in presentation mode to make sure it makes sense after adding each slide. When you finish adding problem slides, include at least one ending. Link the ending to the first slide in your story so that readers can play again. Your story can have multiple endings, but make sure that each end slide has a link to start over. Once you're done adding slides, illustrate the story. To do this, change the theme, background, fonts, or colors, or add effects to make your slides more appealing. Use the Explorer tool to add images quickly and easily. Now it's your turn. Add multiple choices to the slide you created in the last video and link those choices to new or existing slides. Add and link at least three new slides. Every slide except the endings should have at least two choices. Test the story frequently in presentation mode. Continue to add to your story until each group member has added and linked at least three slides or when instructed by your teacher to move on. 